we can use the process of extinction to discontinue unwanted behavior. The extinction of an operant response occurs when it's no longer reinforced. By not reinforcing it, the frequency of the behavior is reduced and will eventually cease. On the other hand, if we want a behavior to be repeated or continued, we must continue to reinforce it. Research has shown that different schedules of reinforcement, or how often a behavior is reinforced, produce distinctive patterns of response. A common pattern for starting a new behavior is simply to reinforce every instance. This is known as continuous reinforcement. Continuous reinforcement is the quickest way to initiate a new behavior, but it has the disadvantage of producing the quickest extinction once reinforcement is stopped. Switching to an intermittent schedule, where responses are reinforced only some of the time, can produce longer-lasting behaviors with fewer reinforcements. There are two types of schedules for reinforcement. Ratio schedules are based upon the number of times a response occurs. Interval schedules are based on time. Both types of schedule can be either fixed or variable. Let's take a closer look at each, beginning with ratio schedules. With a fixed ratio schedule, reinforcement is given after a specific number of responses. For example, a fixed ratio of 3 would mean that reinforcement occurs for every third response. It does not matter whether the three responses occur one right after the other, or if some are delayed. Reinforcement is given only after the required number of responses is recorded. With a variable ratio schedule, behavior is reinforced based on an average number of responses. For example, with a variable ratio of 3, reinforcement may take place after 2 responses, then 4 responses, then 3. If we divide the total number of responses, 9, by the total number of reinforcements, 3, we have reinforcement of every third response, on average. But the exact number of responses required before reinforcement is different each time. Now let's take a look at the reinforcement schedules based on time. With a fixed interval schedule, reinforcement is given for the first response that occurs after a set period of time. If the fixed interval is 3 minutes, the first response to occur after 3 minutes will be reinforced. Any response before that time has elapsed will be ignored. Once the response has occurred, the time is reset and again only the first response to occur after the interval, in this case 3 minutes, will be reinforced. On a variable interval schedule, on average, reinforcement occurs for the first response after a specific interval. For example, on a variable interval schedule of 3 minutes, the timer might be initially set for an interval of 4 minutes. The first response to occur after 4 minutes is reinforced. The timer is then started again and may be set for 2 minutes. The first response to occur after 2 minutes is now reinforced. The timer is started again, and this time may be set for three minutes before reinforcement occurs. If we add the number of minutes in each interval and divide by the number of reinforcements, we have reinforcements that occur after three-minute intervals on average. Both ratio and interval schedules can be useful depending upon the circumstances. Let's take a brief look at the pros and cons of each type of schedule. A fixed ratio schedule produces quick responding, and higher ratios produce higher response rates. Note that with fixed ratio schedules, there is observed to be a brief pause in responding after each reinforcement, rather than a steady stream of responses. Also, extinction is quickest once reinforcement is stopped. A variable ratio schedule produces a high rate of responding without pauses. Higher ratios produce higher response rates, but extinction is slower than with fixed ratios. 
A fixed interval schedule produces slower response rates with long pauses in responding after each reinforcement. Shorter intervals produce higher response rates. Extinction rates are faster than for variable intervals. Lastly, a variable interval schedule produces a slow, steady rate of response without the pauses seen in fixed interval schedules. Shorter intervals produce higher response rates. This schedule offers the slowest rate of extinction. For many behavior modification programs where people are trying to change unwanted behavior, variable ratio schedules are often used because they produce steady responding and reasonable resistance to extinction. Interval schedules are rarely used because they tend to be more difficult to administer. This concludes our section on the schedules of reinforcement.